Hi again and welcome to Swim Ireland's uh, review of the Olympic swimming. Um, so today for the Irish swimming team we had Sheehan Ryan in action and didn't he swim well? He uh, he was in heat number three and he was a bit of an outside burner really. Uh, whenever I watched it he was absolutely flying down, <laughs> down the outside lane and leading right up until the turn and then he looked as if he missed the turn unfortunately uh, had to do an extra dolphin kick into the wall and that really kind of threw him off and then whenever he came out uh, he was kind of um, behind then and really had to try and fight back um to obviously to finish but he had a very strong finish I mean he came out of the turn quite a bit behind really and then came back and managed to finish fourth in a new Irish senior record of 52-52 so just under Brendan Highland's Irish record of 52-58 uh, which I'm sure is a bit bittersweet um, for him as well having his Irish record but taken down by a friend uh, which I think would probably be the best way uh, to have a record uh, taken um, but she obviously had to pull out of the 100 back earlier in the week and that is his main event um, and it just goes to show how well uh, the training um, he, he's, he's doing in Dublin is really suiting him the performance centre seems to be doing so well at the minute it's a really professional setup um, it's kind of just going from strength to strength and there's a lot of guys coming out of obviously all the performance centres now uh, which is great to see um, and Shane was delighted with his swim. Uh, he had a lovely post interview. He obviously, you know, said about his uh, shoulder injury for his backstroke, which I'm sure he's a little bit gutted about because he was uh, on track to make a semi final um, in the backstroke. Uh, which is his main event, but he already talks about Paris, um, so he is definitely not, uh, you know, going away from the sport anytime soon. Uh, which is great to see that he hopefully will be around for another Olympics. If he makes that, that would be a triple Olympian, which would be great to see because he is such a talented swimmer. And um, yeah, just watching that, especially with his turn, uh, it just goes to show how much he has left in the tank in that event, uh, and that's not even his main event. So very exciting. Uh, really uh, for him to come away uh, at this Olympics uh, with a PB in that event um, which was obviously just a bonus event for him um, so great to see him finishing on a high and uh, yeah definitely excited to see what he can do in the future what an exciting few days it's been in the pool we've had some crazy action Mona Mokshari has just been on fire and uh, really come up through the rankings first Olympics in eighth in a in a in a final i i'm just i'm just blown away and all around such a lovely girl she is so down to earth now swimming in tennessee uh and it's just really good to see and i'm sure she's just boosted the morale of uh of the country really i think i want to get back in swimming if i'm honest after watching her and uh, obviously big shout out to the boys four by two relay um they're really bonded and a really strong bond in the team and that is so important when you're swimming a relay um and obviously there was some of the lads um back home uh, Jerry Quinn and Jordan Sloan who had helped to qualify the relay team who didn't obviously manage to, to go to the Olympics but they were a key part in getting that Olympic relay actually uh, to Tokyo uh, so obviously they couldn't have done that without them um, but they really stepped up lovely interview uh, after the swimming and I think that's so important um, to kind of have that sense of of team and uh, yeah really respectful of each other I just find that really refreshing from from the lads it was great to see 